One of the realities behind living in the second largest country in the world is the only way to reach many parts of Canada is by aircraft. As a result, Canada is populated by a huge number of places to land. Everything from international airports, to smaller general aviation airdromes, to thousands of privately owned airstrips that spread from coast to coast to coast. What this means is that during all the years you fly, the majority of places you land will probably fall under the general heading of uncontrolled airdromes. Actually, a more accurate term would be non-tower, as even the remotest flying farmer strip has its own set of safety procedures when it comes to landings and departures. If we break it down, uncontrolled airdromes in Canada primarily fall into one of the following categories. Non-tower airports utilizing an MF or mandatory frequency, non-tower aerodromes using an ATF or aerodrome traffic frequency, and non-MF ATF aerodromes where NORDO or no radio operations are often the norm. The first thing to keep firmly in our minds when approaching any of these uncontrolled aerodromes is to remember that, as pilot in command, the final decisions for a successful flight and the safety of all passengers on board is firmly in your hands. No one else will be looking out for you, and you can pretty much count on coming upon some pilot less informed than yourself at some point during your flights. So the number one rule at any of these uncontrolled fields is keep your head on a swivel and expect the unexpected. Let's get down to specifics and begin by reviewing the correct way to approach, land and depart from an uncontrolled airport using a mandatory frequency.